So when we think about the Nvidia Shield, we think about it being super fast when it comes to gaming, streaming, constant updates, and this is a device that's gonna last you for a long time. Today I wanted to talk about an Nvidia Shield feature that no one's really talking about. This is another one of those things that is built into the Nvidia Shield. No third-party applications is required, and this feature can save you a lot of time. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. And also I wanted to mention that if you guys are in the market for a VPN, IPVanish does have a new back to school deal going on. And this is running until August 31st. And the offer is pretty good guys. One year is gonna be $45 a month. That's basically 65% off. So all you need to do is use coupon code BTS2020. Link will be provided in the description. One feature that no one talks about is the ability to directly connect to your Nvidia Shield from your computer. And with that being done, you can essentially transfer your files, your photos, your APKs, your videos, whatever you want. This is a great time saver, especially if you have multiple Nvidia Shields on your network. So today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly set that up. On the Nvidia Shield, you need to go to your settings. You're gonna to go to your device preferences. You're gonna to go to storage. Where it says transfer files over local network, go ahead and turn that on. All right, go ahead and confirm. And it will take a second to enable this feature, but once it's enabled, it's gonna give you a username, it's gonna give you a password, it's gonna give you your IP address. That's basically all the information you need. I should mention that you can go in, you can change your username, you can change your password, but for this demo, I'm gonna leave it as is. So before we jump over to the computer, one thing I would recommend is to get one of these file explorers on your device. We all know that ES File Explorer was removed from Google Play uh, because of some um, bad practices, I would say, uh, essentially running ads without um, Google's consent or, or not adhering to Google's policy. So they went ahead and kicked that from the file store. Did a video on a couple alternatives. Solid Explorer is a great alternative. We also have FX Explorer. We also have Explore, uh, which is my favorite out of the three. So uh, I'll link that video as well, guys. Uh, there are a lot of options to the ES File Explorer if you're no longer comfortable with it. And what this will do is once you send those files, you'll browse to the folder location. That way you can easily locate them. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the computer. So I have three files right here. One's a video and two are APKs. And I'm just gonna show you how easy that is. But before you do, there's a couple things that you need to do on the computer as well. On your computer, you need to go to your control panel. And to get to your control panel, just search control panel, probably the easiest way. So once you get to control panel, you'll either see a menu like this, if it's in category, or if you expand it, it will show like this. So. Let's just go ahead and put it in category. And now we're gonna to go to our programs, click on where it says turn Windows feature on and off. So within this area, more than likely your SMB is gonna be disabled guys. So what you wanna do is just make sure that this box is checked. Now, very important that once that box is checked, click OK, it's gonna go ahead and enable that option, but you need to restart your computer for this change to take effect. So make sure you restart your computer. Now that we restart, we're gonna go ahead and open File Explorer. So in the top, we're gonna to put in the IP address of our NVIDIA Shield, but type it just as you see in it here. So it's gonna be backslash backslash 192.168.1.124. Now, if this is your first time signing in, you will need to put in your username and password. So in this case, mine's gonna be triple M3, and the password is gonna be dumpy PSI fab. So Whatever shows up on your device, just make sure you put in those credentials and you should be good to go. So now we're essentially in the video shield. So we're gonna go to our internal and now we have access to all of the folders, guys. So if you go to my downloads, you can see I have a lot of downloads in here. I These are probably old downloads. So I can essentially just delete them. And those will be deleted from the Nvidia Shield. So another good way to go ahead and clean up your device, guys. A lot of old stuff in here. We'll delete those as well. Now you have a movies folder. You have a music folder. 
So like I said, you can do whatever you need to do in here. You can create a new folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna put new apps. All right. And I'm gonna create another folder and I'm just gonna call it sample video. All right, so in the new apps folder, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put two APKs in here. We're gonna install them a little bit later as well. So we'll go ahead and drag those. You can see speed, that was uh, 21 megabytes per second, I believe. Uh, that took almost no time. So the other one is gonna be sample video. We're gonna go ahead and drop this. This is a pretty large file. This is a review I, I did not too long ago. So um, almost a gig. All right, so just a, an idea of how fast this is uh, transferring, about 23 megabytes per second. And I can say you can be very creative with all of this, especially if you have multiple NVIDIA Shields, guys. You can have three windows open up and drop everything you need to. So if you're a Mac user, the process is gonna be identical or similar. So you can see I still have the same three files on my desktop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Finder. We're gonna right click. We're gonna connect to server. So from here, we're gonna put in the IP address, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So instead of just typing the IP address, we're gonna put in smb colon four slash four slash. And now we're gonna put in the IP address, username and password, 192.168.1.124. We're gonna click connect. It's gonna say we're attempted to connect to a server. We're just gonna hit connect there. And now we need to put in the credentials that the NVIDIA Shield provided for us. So mine was TRPLMM3. And the password was dumpy-psi-fad. We're gonna hit connect. And you can see I have the same information here, guys. So I have the sample video right here that I did copy. If I wanted to delete it or move it back to the desktop, that's an option for me. You can see on the new apps, I still have the VLC. Let's go ahead and we'll just delete those. Move those to trash, delete. And if I wanted to put them back, we'll see how fast that process is. And paste it here. So same process there. And like I said, it works the same way on Mac and PC. Uh, connecting to the server is a little bit different, but, but once you connect it, all the folders are visible. And just so you guys know, if you're looking for APKs, if you do a quick Google search, you can find um, some pretty good stores out there. There's APK Pure is, an, is one that I use. There's APK Mirror. So a lot of different ways to get applications. So what I'm gonna do now is just switch over to the Nvidia Shield, and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to retrieve these files. All right, so here we are on the NVIDIA Shield. And like I said, any one of these file explorers should work. I just prefer using the Explorer, but um, Solid is, is good as well. ES File Explorer will not be in the Play Store, but if you guys really want it, let me know. I can go ahead and add it to my file link. So we're gonna go to Explore. So Explore is a very cool Explorer, guys, and I'll probably do a follow video. There's a lot of cool options on here that we probably didn't try. You can see it has FTP, SSH, uh, Wi-Fi sharing, DLNA, Vault. So a lot of cool options on here. Not gonna get too much into that in this video. But what we're gonna do is go to the left. You can see I have two drives on here, guys. We have the root, which would be the main uh, device storage. Remember, the NVIDIA Shield only comes with 16 gigs. And you can see I have five gigs free but everything that I just did was moved to the to the hard drive that's attached to my NVIDIA Shield. So we're gonna hit the drop down there. And the first one we're doing is the new apps. So click on that, you can see I have two things in here, guys. All right, so there's Tubi, there's VLC. So we click on VLC, click install. All right, so that one is done. If you guys get a security pop-up, uh, just go ahead and go into your security settings and allow that. And I'll show you how to do that when I when I get out of here as well. 
So same thing for VLC, guys. All right, so that one's done as well. And like I said, I can open it. Click allow there, you can see VLC is up and running. And we'll check out Tubi a little bit later as well. So another one was the sample video. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right. So when it comes to so when it comes you can to see that's working with no issue as well. Let's see if I can skip ahead. So this was a, a very cool surround sound system that I reviewed not too long ago. Uh, it is kind of pricey, but the sound is amazing. And uh, the best part about this is that this is a completely wireless system. So uh, interested in that, I'll go ahead and link that video as well. You can see everything's working well right there. Let's go ahead and check out Tubi that we just installed. Right. First load. Tubi is another great application. It is completely free. It is available on the Nvidia Shield, but I just wanted to show you guys that um, installing applications work. For anyone that's either receiving a pop-up or don't know how to enable third-party application on the Nvidia Shield, if you go to your settings, gonna go down to device preferences, gonna go down to security and restrictions. So where it says unknown sources, go ahead and click on that. And all the apps should start populating now. So if you have an application that you want to install applications from, you want to make sure that's turned on. So what I was using is Explore. So that was already turned on. But if that was turned off, I would receive that pop up. Uh, just let me know that I need to come here to turn that setting on. So that's it for this video. Let me know if this is something you can see yourself using. This should also work on Mac. The settings might be a little bit different. If you guys want me to do a dedicated video on that, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Also, if you guys are interested in the free vehicle monitoring system, link in the description. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.